hello students how are you all i hope all of you are fine and you are enjoying my videos and uh, welcome back to your next english class this is your nupur ma'am and uh, without delaying our time i will start today's uh, class and you can see the page um, about this is about the last day practice work and uh, i hope you have done it and uh, right now i am giving you answer for checking it out so check it down it was a question identification of preposition the city was destroyed by an earthquake by is a preposition i wrote down his speech word for word down is a preposition for is also a preposition this landscape is uh, painted from nature from blue does not go with green with see i have already underlined by the pencil you can see we can see things under water under is a preposition he works hard in the hope of standing first in is a capital uh, is a sorry not capital in is a preposition of is also preposition right so and uh, there was another practice work for plus h i have arranged this uh, practice work uh, with the video last day uh, by a photo i have given you can see you can see this is the same question identification of preparation we meet at night at the book is on the table on we stay at home during the holidays at I will be there by ten o'clock. By, it has been raining for three hours. For, he pointed to the tree. Two. Okay, so this was your last practice work, and uh, today I have arranged some more prepositions to you uh, to see you the uses of this. how you use uh, the more preparations like see you can see uh, upon there are more preparations i have arranged for you uh, you can see the page okay so first upon to show a movement which is directed upwards when do you use upon when whenever you are showing a movement to the upwards okay from upwards so she fell upon him she fell upon him so you can understand she fell this is a movement and how does she fell upon him on whom upon him so this is showing a movement directed upwards right next two to show the change in place to whenever you use to whenever you are showing the changing in a place mahi goes to school that means you can understand mahi was mahi is in some other place and mahi goes to school means mahi is changing mahi's place okay, that is used to next to use uh, you can use to for uh, and another part for comparing two nouns and pronouns whenever you are comparing Uh, to noun or pronoun, then you also you can use to this preposition. She is junior to me. We are comparing she and me. Okay, there is a comparison between two. There is a preposition. These are pronouns. Okay, sorry, these are pronouns. So you are comparing between two pronouns. So there also you can use to. Next from whenever you are you. using form when to show the source of something whenever you are showing the, the source of something then you can use from milk comes from cow okay so you can understand there is a source of uh, coming milk next between it is used to talk about two nouns or pronouns are available whenever you are telling about two people both are available that should be noun that may be pronoun there is no problem like he slept between me and his brother there are two people both of them are available he slept between me and his brother okay and 
when do you use among there is a little bit different between between and among uh, this is i'm telling you whenever you are telling about two noun or pronoun means two people both are available then you can use between but if you see the more more than two people so many people are there then you can use among it is used when position is to be shown and there are more than two nouns or pronouns i distributed in the apples among children this is i am telling between and among this is i am telling in bengali for some students who are a uh, little bit poor to understand this english विटुईन एंड अमाउंट जो दूजे मध्य तुम बुझे तक बुझे विटुईन दीते जो दूजे बसी है तक हो जाए ओके दिस आई टोल्ड इन बेंगलि टू गिव टू गिव एन एक्स एक्साम्पल टू दो स्टूडेंट हू आर लिटिल विट उक टू अंडारस्टैंड इंग्लिश ओके ओके नेक्स्ट बिफोर see before it is used to show the order of the two or more events that has taken place one after another okay whenever you before you can understand uh, some work or someone has already come before someone and after before means age after means pore okay this is the main meaning i came here before you i came here after you okay next about whenever you are giving a description about something then you can use about it is used to describe what or or to say something the boy is saying about the picture okay you can understand the boy is giving a description about the picture so you can use about next due to it is used to show the reason of a consequence his absence is due to heavy rain it is showing a reason of a consequence okay in front of to show the position of a noun or pronoun when it is opposite to the another noun or pronoun when you are showing a position of any one noun or any one pronoun just opposite to the noun other noun or noun other pronoun see his office is in front of a theater you can see his office this is a noun theater is a noun so this is just opposite of the theater a theater is just opposite this so you can understand whenever you will use in front of okay so i have arranged some practice work for you today i hope you can see the page if you have any problem to understand then definitely ask me before that i am telling you uh, the last day video i have given you some use of prepositions to indicate the time today i will tell you some more prepositions uh, which are indicating places also uh, last day i have told you about uh, at and in okay before timing you will use this but you can use in place also okay suppose there is a big place suppose i am telling i live dash india so what do you give i live in india right so whenever you will see that sorry uh, for the page whenever you will see that there is a place a big place before that you can use in suppose you are getting two places in one sentence so how do you manage the both prepositions whenever you will get two places you can see there that one place is little bit small than the other okay suppose before the village before a small place you can use at and before a big place you can use in okay suppose you are telling that i live at kalyani in west bengal okay so you can understand or suppose you are telling i live in Kol i live at kolkata in west bengal so kolkata is a small place less than india okay 
so whenever you are telling about your own village name or a small town's name before that you can use at and uh, a big place before that you can use in okay i have told you because maybe in this uh, questions you will get that okay see the baby is sleeping dash bed i told you whenever you are showing a place that maybe anything okay before that what do you you will be used in at desert okay television is kept dash the room mother came dash the room after an hour okay he mother came you have to understand vishnu goes dash temple dash saturday i have already told you before the day before the any date or any day what do you use next ice cream is made dash milk and cream okay so here you can use uh, which preposition you have to understand the artist is insulted dash the music director okay i uh, of uh, i already told you about the by when do you buy, use by uh, that is in time but suppose um, you are telling one work is done by someone see i have already told you by so there you can use by also see the artist is insulted dash the music director karur dara kichu hoyeche tokhon tumra by use korte paro okay then this ice cream is made dash milk and cream i have told you about the source when you will use you whenever you are showing a source then you can use from right but sometimes you have to use of or if of when you will use of you have to understand okay then farmer is familiar dash the agricultural problems familiar means known to all the farmer is familiar dash the agricultural problems you have to understand you can you can see there is a reason reason of consequence she reason of consequence next the piece of land was dispute dash the four days four boys the this piece of land was dispute dash the four boys here you can also see a reason mm. next the two children were not ready to distribute the money dash them here you can see uh, there are lots of people and i have told you the difference between between and among when you can use between whenever you are you are watching that uh, two noun or two pronouns are available and when you can use uh, among whenever you will get that uh, more than two or more than two noun and more than two pronouns there are so many people there you can use among right so please do this all you can pause your video and you can take a picture or you can note down in your copy plus but please do this practice work and send it to comment box if you have any problem to understand any line or any spelling you can ask me in comment box i will give you the reply okay i hope you can see the video you can see the picture okay okay then uh, with this uh, video i will send you the this picture also for better helping okay sometime you can't understand the lines in the video so there should be a problem so okay i will send you the picture of this practice work today okay then thank you so much keep watching my video and wait for the next video next day i will describe so many other prepositions and their use and i will give you practice work on that okay till then 
keep watching my video and uh, have a nice day thank you so much